library is located on the ground floor of the White House, and it's one of the first rooms you'll see on the public tour. Historically, the ground floor has been used primarily as a service space, and in its earlier iteration, the library was used as a laundry. It was also used for storage, for things like tubs, lumber, but only in 1935 did it become a designated space as a library. Franklin Roosevelt wanted to have a distinct separate library for the White House. Ever since then, the library has grown. Today you can find over 2,700 volumes. They are intended to represent the very best of American history, culture, politics, philosophy that are available to the President and the First Lady or White House staff anytime they want. They rest on shelves that were actually repurposed and salvaged from White House wood. During the Truman renovation between 1948 to 1952, pieces of the old timbers were taken and reused and repurposed and turned into these bookshelves for the library. One of the most noteworthy items in the room is the George O'Keefe painting above the fireplace. It was acquired for the White House collection in 1997. This depicts a scene at Taos near Bear Lake, New Mexico, and it was the first major acquisition of a woman artist of the 20th century. In addition to the Georgia O'Keeffe painting, there are a series of Native American portraits done by Charles Byrd King. There are five Native American portraits of the delegation that came to the White House during the presidency of James Monroe. On one wall, you'll see four of these delegates, but as you exit the library, you'll see the fifth, the only female who was present for the delegate's visit. There's also a small likeness of the original White House architect James Hoban located in the library. 